He is the leader of this team. Look, this team beat West Virginia earlier this year. This team lost two heartbreakers to Arizona State by two and Dayton by two. They just need to learn how to finish. Here we go, Doug. SMU with the basketball in their alternate black uniforms in Tallahassee, Florida, here at the Tucker Center. Number one is Zurich Phelps, who last year was sixth in the American in scoring. Helps to set up a layup inside. Only one on the floor at that point. Still working on a shooting coming off a horrible game. Shooting free throws. Here goes Baba Miller driving to the bucket, and he's got the Seminoles on the board. Needs and his desire to grow led him to become the first black athlete a couple of years later at UT Martin. He is the first of many in many different walks of life and specifically trying to find Jalen Ganey. And one bad pass begets another. Here come the Knowles. And we mentioned where they get Spears back. They still are without Cam Corrin and Cameron Fletcher due to injury, so they are not whole by any means. There's the beautiful stroke of Darren Green Jr. Here's Chuck Harris. Step back three. Nothing but net. With SMU, I just like their poise, especially defensively. Now, offensively, it's been a train wreck at times for both these teams. But let's credit how athletic both these teams are and how hard they've played defensively. Well, in an effort to get some shooting into the uh, game, Leonard Hamilton inserted Tom House. You saw him miss the three at one end, and that got the Mustangs, the Pony Express, out and running. And that's exactly what SMU is doing right now. Great defense leads to easy offense for the Mustangs. The best shooter, one of the great shooters in the country, number 22 in white, Darren Green Jr. There he gets a sh shot right here. That's the first time he's been able to catch the ball and actually make a play since the first half. You've got to go out and chase him. Yeah, and, and you've got to make sure he doesn't catch the basketball because he has had layers to his game. I call 7%. SMU's lead is back to 7. Chuck Harris, the first into double figures on the turnaround. SMU's figured it out, Doug. They're starting to move the ball better. We saw it late in the first half. They've made the adjustment. They've they put more pressure on the FSU defense by swinging the ball side to side and finding open shooters. Good penetration by Jameer Watkins. He's got his first field goal of the night. Back the other way comes SMU. Good ball movement. Find the open man in the corner. Got a good look, but Harris missed it on the putback. It's now 29-22 SMU who did have the nerve to be able to bring on a black man in that environment and establish the groundwork that you're talking about. And he's a Hall of Fame coach, period. Yep. SMU's lead balloons to 12 off another Florida State turnover. SMU all night long. Steal leads to easy offense. That's why the Stags are in the lead right now. That's not how basketball works. Harris? Got the defender in the air and then missed the bank shot on second effort. Able to score the basketball. And SMU is moving the ball, sharing the ball, and doubling down on the offensive glass. Well, when Coach Lanier told us today, Chuck Harris is a hooper. My kind of guy, go get a bucket. That's what I felt on that possession, Mark. Yeah. Green. Contested three. Able to find the range. Here goes Williamson, hard to the basket, off the glass with the left hand. Long and athletic Florida State team, the want to for the Mustangs has been better than the want to for the Knowles. Florida State gets the bucket on the reverse, Josh Nickelberry wanting to get it done. Two foot jump stop was bounced, just got intimidated inside. Uh -oh. it up, Williamson throws it down. Watch all the Florida State faces. See how they're all looking to the ball? You saw every face looking out. Favor. Now, there's a reason why Florida State has been so successful in so many yeah. athletic games. Wow. And Chuck Walsh, a great representative for Leonard Hamilton and this basketball team. And Josh Nickelberry, thank you for your personal note. It means a lot to an old guy like me, believe me. 
And I, uh, I concur, Jalen, as well. Thank you so much. Brighten my day and couldn't have more quickly sent a message to Chuck saying, boy, that really was something. Yep. Never have seen anything like it in all of our years. Hard to swallow. Hard to yeah, figure, I'm hard to swallow. A, I'm not a fan of college football. And there's a connectivity to this team that I did not see last year. Unselfish. And they've gotten just enough offense here in the second half to get themselves some separation. Seminoles forced to turn over, get the easy layup by Jameer Watkins. That should do it. SMU comes to Tallahassee and takes down Florida State 68-57. Final thought, Coach? 